Well, we couldn't get around Lake Como. A lot of the road was all blocked and we'd have had to go right the way around the opposite way. So we've made our way to Lake Maggiora. Just as stunning. Right, we're just on our way around to the campsite for the evening and uh, a bit of lunch but I think this is Canero Riviera absolutely fantastic stunning can't go right the way round because uh, it, it takes us into Switzerland and we don't really want to do that with the uh, Covid thing at the moment so maybe the northern part and down the other side will be for another day uh, on, the, on the lake of uh, well where we are at uh, Canobio, we've just found out that uh, there's a bit of a religious story that goes on from here. The Di Tommaso Zacchi family kept in the house a painted represent a painting representing Christ standing next to the Holy Grave, together with Mary and San Giovanni. According to the story, the painting of Christ became animate and began to emit blood and tears while a fragment of a human rib protruded from Christ's wounded side. Today, the picture and some of the blood-stained clothes belonging to witnesses of the miracle are kept in a niche on the high altar at the sanctuary. The holy rib is preserved in a reliquary in the church of San Vittore. This is the sanctuary of the Santa Sima Pieta, which is where the miracle was supposed to have started or happened 500 years ago today. 500 years ago, the house of Tommaso Zakai stood on this spot. Okay, we've just entered the church where the house stood originally. Tonight there'll be a procession from this church to the next church that I show you. Later today, the original picture from blood stained clothing and the bone will be taken from this church on the procession to the other church, which we'll show you shortly. The original painting is. Give you the 
that's the original. I think in this box below is the uh, stained clothes, but the rib is cut at the church we're about to look at. Although the, the rib is tucked away somewhere. The altar is carved as well. There's the uh, front of the church, which we're going to have a little bit of a look at uh, inside. Okay, we're in the church in Canobio, which is all decorated in these red curtains. Fantastic, really. Really, really pretty nativity scene. Beautiful ceiling. Wow. Really, really cool. Really pretty. This is uh, just outside the church, waiting for the uh, ceremony to begin. I'm recording. He said bonus.
Σύμπα. Σάκουις Πρέτσιοσύστημα. Μύρκο Δόλοσύστημα. Signore, che hai voluto essere innalzato da terra per attirarti a te, che apri la tua mano e colmi la natura e gli esseri viventi con la pienezza della tua provvidenza benedici le acque del nostro lago perché nella tua benignità siano occasione di riposo del corpo e ristoro dell'anima dona la tua protezione a tutti coloro che lo navigano per lavoro, per passione o per servizio degli uomini. Per Cristo nostro Signore. Morning from Lake Maggiore. Uh, we're going to take a bit of a walk up there this morning and then uh, we'll be uh, travelling to Turin later today. Well, we never made it anywhere near the top. My bottle went and uh, it was getting a bit close to the edge for me. So this is about the best view I'll be able to give you. down by the edge of the lake now and uh, just to show you how clear it is I don't know if this will show up but uh, there you go
crystal clear. Looks almost good enough you could drink it. Yeah, I really like it here at uh, Lake Maggiore. Uh, there's a look into the little harbour. Really, really nice place. I imagine in the summer it gets really busy. Very pretty though. It's been a really nice day today. Very quiet. Very nice.